Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Dinah and uh, as you all know, uh, every week I try and put up a uh, one one vlog but last uh, two weeks I have been like really really busy so I didn't get that much of time to put up a vlog. Really do apologize for not being on regular base. Um, I will try and be more punctual from now on. I'm fingers crossed. Yeah, so guys, uh, today um, I'm doing a vlog on... Uh, come shop with me so i'm gonna also show you all where all places i have been to which all places i have shopped and what all things i've got so this video is going to be slightly lengthy please bear with me though i try to make the video short but somehow i end up making them slightly lengthy really apologize for that and stay with me check out my entire vlog and let's get going let me quickly show you where i have been today and what all things i have fit so guys, uh, here we are in the Tooting Market. I'm gonna take y'all around. Uh, I haven't done a walk with me tour before, so I'm not very good. So please do bear with me. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all a quick look of shops which are around. So that's Boots, that's Shoe Zone where I pick my shoes from, and that's the Boots where I pick my cosmetics from. And this is a Primark which we all know where i do my primark hauls so this is a primark i go to and pick up most of my primark stuffs so yeah since we all know winter is coming up so there are like a huge variety of jackets available all jackets coats hoodies different type of stuff is all in here uh, like you have like so many colors and varieties and different patterns that you just go crazy watching them up so yeah you can see a beautiful wine color and then this nude color and like it's just too good and there are some jackets also for now a few of them which i happen to see and yeah, they have like lots of sizes out here and these are the coat sections where they have like these coats of theirs and it's 23 pounds so yeah they have a few coat section as well like this one uh, last season this one was very famous and then this jackets of jeans and now let's move on to the uh, dresses sections so these are the dresses which we have in our prime mark so yeah uh, this is the black dress that I picked and um, here there is a set some again hoodies jackets and some nice t-shirts and they look really nice with all Marvel and uh, Mickey's uh, prints on them it's something nice uh, toy story and all so yeah uh, I didn't get much time to check everything up but I did a quick view and here you can see all white uh, t-shirts with some amazing colors and some hair bins uh, which I normally pick up but this time I haven't any and we have some Disney collection out here. So let's move on to the 99p shop. So I haven't done long long videos. So here we go. And this is all these stationeries that you can see. The first level when you enter in 99p shop in Tooting. You see all these stationeries and all the toys and stuff like that. So you have like variety of choices which you can pick up from some stickers and again some stationery tapes and all then money banks if you are a coin collector then this is something new i found these are like uh, the uh, candles these are all candle section from top to bottom and um, they look really nice cute that one is plastic the one that i'm holding up but yeah these are like um, they make a really good showpiece i'm not sure how good they burn but yeah they make really good showpiece and they look really pretty so i kind of like them but i didn't pick them i don't know somehow because i had other things in mind and then i'm holding a pineapple one and i'm still confused so here we are at the cleaning uh, section where i pick my cleaning products up then these are some of the i believe shampoos and conditioners i don't pick them up so i'm not very good with this some deodorants and some fragrances and uh, scrubs and stuff like that and then we have here uh, cups tea cups they have like amazing uh, crockery stuff so if you happen to be here check that thing out as well i really like this black 
plates and cups and bowls and stuff and yeah there are some amazing collections some bowls glasses they have like really good uh, glasses come up every time some spoons spatulas and stuff like that which is like really nice it's like you get everything in one shop so yeah mats and then micro oven gloves and some uh, storage container and glasses and yeah lots and lots of stuff and this is something new that i came across i'm going to show you all quickly so yeah this is the tray uh, stand uh, for the cupcakes which is really nice and these are the glasses which i happen to see and they look really nice it's a coca cola um uh, written on them they are ceramic ones but really nice ones and some containers hand gloves as winters have started so yeah they have got up some new stuff socks and rest if you happen to be there just you can check it out so yeah stian had one i and yeah some water bottles and some so yeah here we are at the um shoe zone where they have like amazing collections of shoes i always pick my shoes up from shoe zone if i happen to because i love they are very comfortable and very good to walk with so yeah i love to pick up things from here and um here you go uh, let me show you all this is like the work where if you prefer wearing blacks which can go on any outfit and stuff like that you can pick things up from here and then they have some heels sandals as well so whenever i travel back home i make sure i pick some sandals from here oh, i have already the nude ones which are there displayed i already have them and some summery sandals uh, i think so they have come up on sale i'm not sure exactly but yeah since winter have started uh, if they have not then very soon they might come up on the sale as well so yeah and these are the boot sections where they have like varieties of boots and then the kids sections and this is the winter section if you like nice cozy warm shoes then these are the ones which you can pick here they call them slippers yeah my place they would say shoes so yeah and some gum boots and yeah they have like really good collection for kids colorful collection so if you want to check out you can go there and some um formal wells some sandals formal wells if you are going somewhere out for function parties even school wells they do have like a lot of collection about school stuff and all so guys as you have seen which all places i have been i went for shopping it's a local market just close to my um, house and uh, they have like really a uh, good uh stuff around though i didn't went to the local local shops i did go to like shops like primark and boots and stuff like that few places i could not shoot up but yeah few places where i could i did shoot and i did show you all so let's begin with what all things i got so yeah the first thing that i got um is from 99p shop now 99p shop is a shop similar to poundland but they have in this range of a uh, 1p less so that's 99p shop and it's a beautiful shop those who don't know about it they have like lot of things and i do end up picking random things from there and they yeah, actually good. so since we all know diwali is coming christmas is coming new year is coming then after new year uh, valentine is coming so like they have this amazing bags come up which i'm going to show you all quickly So yeah. So the first thing that I picked is this bag, a beautiful bag, uh, costing ninety nine p. I think so. This is one for ninety nine p. They also have like um, two for a pound or something, or one pound fifty something like that. But I really like this bag, and since Diwali and all are coming around, so I thought like it would be a very good bag to give some gifts. We have a tag here, so we can write uh, whoever you wish to give this one to. And it's a big bag. Let me quickly show y'all. Okay, so this is how it is. Big it is. So you can put one gifts. You can put two gifts if you are taking for a group of friends. Then you can put like three, four gifts in this and take it along with you. So yeah, this is the first thing that I picked from Nike Nike shop, and I'm very happy with this. I'm very happy with the color. So yeah, 
So the next thing that I picked from 99p shop is this. This is a bath mat. You get it anywhere, but uh, I don't like to uh, pick up from uh, expensive shops because um, this is a mat that I keep on changing once it gets spoiled or it changes color. So yeah, 99p shop and this bag is quite good. So yeah, this is an anti-slip mat. Those who do not know in London or in UK we have like this bathtubs where you need to put this because I have like fallen like two to three times in the bathroom so <laughs> I make sure that I put this anti-slip mat so that I fall no more so the next thing that I picked from the shop is uh, this now this is an aloe vera uh, face mask it is herbal it is aloe vera so I thought of giving it a try it says a uh, face mask helps calm and soothe skin, hydrate skin. Uh, my skin is dry, very, very, very dry. So yeah, it helps me out. Uh, I'll give you a quick look of this one. So it says you need to put it on for 15 minutes and then you need to take it off. Remove gently, peel off the mask and excess serum. Use cotton pad, wipe off. So yeah, I thought of giving it a try. Okay, so the next that I picked from 99p is okay this one now I'm very happy with this purchase uh, this is a cupcake stand which looks quite cute the plastic is also very good and this it comes with a stand the stand looks somewhat like this and it has not so I just put it in so that I don't lose it because I'm very good at losing things so yeah so it goes like this so let me quickly put it up for you here, this one goes here, and let me it up. So, ta -da! it looks somewhat like this. It's a cupcake stand. Uh, it says it's a cupcake stand. You can use it for putting sandwiches or chocolates or anything you wish. It doesn't matter as long as you have it with you. So, yeah, this is a very good thing that I picked up. I'm really happy about this. I thought like I should go and pick up one more because it looks really good when you leave it on the table. So, yeah. It's a nice stand. Somewhat this. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. So this is all I picked from a 99p shop. So the next shop where I went to is um, Primark. Yeah, I've been to Primark. I go to shopping and I don't go to Primark. It's like no justice for the shopping that I do. So the next thing that I picked is this. Ulta. Sorry. Uh, this top. It's very nice, woolen, soft, beautiful color. I love this color. I love, love, love this color. It looks really good on me. So yeah, it looks somewhat like this. And I picked it up in small size, though I feel like I should have gone for an extra small. But uh, no worries. Um, you can still manage. A little bit loose is okay with me. So this is uh, for um, 10 pounds and it's in size um, small. So yeah, if you are, uh, if I can fit in extra small, then uh, you can, if you are thinner than me, then you can definitely go for a uh, double X, extra small, double X, yeah, excess, yeah, double extra small. So yeah, so this is how it looks, this is how big it is, and since it's wool, it stretches up, so I'm not sure about it, but yeah, I'm gonna give it a try. So I'm not going to try it up today, but uh, definitely in future I might do a vlog where I can um, try like a uh, formal look, casual look, uh, traditional look, western look. Yeah, I can try this four looks and I can show you up. So yeah, the next thing that I picked is this pretty pretty dress. Now I'm sure this is something new. It's a black dress. It's a off shoulder dress. Something like this. Yeah, and it looks pretty good the material is nice let me show you it's more uh, it looks quite plain here I can't show you exactly it looks quite plain here but it is uh, it looks somewhat like that a uh, corduroy material and uh, it is stretchable see it stretches up you can just stretch it up so should not be an issue if you take a size uh, small you can fit up in that but then I picked up a large and they don't give trial, uh, they don't let you try as yet. So you need to pick them, get them home, try it on and then 
doesn't fit you up, you need to give it back. So yeah, this is uh, for um, 14 pounds. Uh, this is for 14 pounds. This is in size of 14 to 16, large size. So I'm sure I'm going to fit in this. And since it is stretchable, it should not be a problem. And it's a nice black dress though. Who oh, doesn't want? Oh, let me show you the length. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. So there, it's a uh, short length, short length, short length. So it should be up to knee length, knee length. So yeah. Uh, the next thing that I picked up is um, this jacket. Now, uh, I've seen a lot of uh, vloggers uh, who have already shown this in I think so last month and I'm always late. I don't know, I'm just always late. So yeah, this is something that I picked up. Um, it's a... Um, what do you call it? Jacket? You call it jacket. This is not a jumper. Definitely a jacket. A uh, loose jacket. Very nice. Uh, it has... Um, Two compartments like uh, it has a nice pattern not compartment it is a nice pattern of uh, pockets and uh, it has long sleeves or three fourth sleeves I can just wear it up and show you I don't know how it's gonna look on me but yeah I can quickly wear it up so yeah it uh, it looks um, it's good I look like an uh, advocate advocate kind of feeling you get when you see <laughs> black colors but yeah the sleeves are um long sleeves are long it's not that short so yeah it looks good it's loose loose not very fitting but yeah if i wear it with a white shirt maybe it will look more prettier and a nice uh, loose uh, pant so yeah i might um make a next vlog of mine on this and show you all up how it looks give you all a few tips on how things look because last time when I did a prime mark um, an amazing person came up and said um, I should uh, try it on uh, rather than putting up the pictures so I'm like really working up on that uh, so yeah maybe next vlog I would do on trying up all this stuff that I've picked okay so the next thing that I've picked is uh, this denim uh, shorts it's a white color short and it's very nice I like the fit Though I am a little healthier on the uh, bottom side. So I don't like my um, thighs to be like stuck up. So this is really nice and loose and fits really well. And it was for £10. It was for £10 if you can see it. So this was for £10 and I got it on bargain and I got it for £3. Pounds. So I got it for £3. That was a good bargain. So I loved it and I'm really happy about it. This is in size um, 14. This is in size 14. Yeah, and definitely it should be. So, yeah, so this is the best way of trying. Okay, so back home when um, we uh, buy pants or stuff like that and where we cannot try it up, you just put it up on your neck and you see if it fits up on the back and if it fits up the exact size of your neck then that means it's going to fit you up so i don't know how that logic works but it does really work you can give a try so <laughs> the next thing that i picked is just a random a uh, formal pant i needed a formal pant for my work wear oh uh, so yeah so this is a random a uh, formal pant that i picked it's a uh, very thin material uh, somehow uh, in London they have like very very thin thin material this is a straight fit um, I'm not sure if it's gonna fit me well or no I'm really not sure but uh, this says it is a uh, size 16 and it is slim so if it is size 16 though I'm 14 and formal I prefer 16 so it should fit me but even though if doesn't fit me then I don't know what I'll do with that so here you go it says a uh, size uh, 16 and it is slim slim so yeah if you are little uh, bubbly chubbly like me and uh, <laughs> you don't want to look more bubbly chubblier then you can go for a slim size and it should be fine and this is just for about five pounds so yeah it's just five pounds so it should be fine. okay so then I went for another two formal pants now um like I said, when it comes to pants, I'm not sure. I need to try my pants on to make sure that they fit well. So the next two pants that I picked is uh, again formal. I can say a uh, semi-formal. 
or it comes in formal i don't know which category it falls into but yeah they look somewhat like this uh they are nice stretchable not very stretchable but yeah they have this stretch on them they have nice pockets it's a zip pocket so your yeah, my entire hand goes up i don't have big hands but yeah if my entire hand goes up so that means it's a big pocket but and uh it is a uh, the length is not very long it i believe it is going to be like 3/4 um going to wear it in my next vlog and show you not this vlog because this vlog is going to be a little lengthy so yeah and this one is size of uh, 40 this one is size 14 and it is a uh, 13 pounds 13 pounds but i would say the material is really nice material is thick nice it has a little bit of stretch so if you are like a inch more you don't need to worry you can fit up in this looks very pretty i think this is something new which they have come up this is how it looks this is how it looks from behind and it is good if it fits me i would uh, rather prefer wearing this as a formal pant other than wearing this one so yeah you can see the quality as well so this one is somewhat like this and this one is somewhat like this so yeah the quality is much much better than the previous one so this is the uh, next pant that i picked up and this is also similar similar completely similar only it is in size 16 that is because i was not sure if i will fit in size 4 so yeah that's it so the next stuff that i picked up is a mirror okay so let me quickly show you this is the mirror that i picked okay so this is how it looks a uh, very simple uh it has two types uh, it has zoom and it has like plain thing on like you can have a plain look and you can have a zoomed look so this is basically i picked up because of my makeup because i wanted to learn to do more makeup i needed to progress in this field of makeup i've been watching a lot of youtubers as well where they train you uh, really well and yeah maybe in future i might do uh, like for basics and i might uh, teach you all what are the basic stuff that you need to do and what are the basic stuff you need to look into if you are interested in check my vlogs up so you can see it maybe one or two beauty <laughs> vlog as well so yeah so the next thing that i picked up is this brushes i didn't go uh, let me tell you i didn't go for like really expensive stuff when it came to makeup it's not like i didn't go i did go but i feel when you are learning something when you're trying something new it's not worth to buy like really expensive stuff you need to start from basic to level up you know because this is the basic i'm going to try i'm going to do and then i'm going to move step by step ahead and then i'm going to invest in a good product but for now for trial this is good enough for me because i'm not sure that uh, i will be uh, consistent on this one i will be continuing with this one or i might just do it for a like you know month or two and just leave it so yeah i didn't go for a high price i went for basics but yeah It looks good, quite good. If you are someone new who wants to try, give a try for this one. I haven't tried these brushes, so I would not comment on this. But they have like given all the um, uh, instructions, which brushes for what and how you need to use it and what all things you need to do it. Next thing, very important thing, which you need when you are doing a makeup, especially if you have hair like me, which are like throwing up from all the sides of your face. But this is something you need. if you have hair something like me okay so this is for 2 pounds i'm going to tell you all the prices i don't have the list with me but whatever prices are there i'm just going to tell you this is for 2 pounds it's good it's nice soft anything a uh, nice soft fluffy in winters is something i love so yeah and it is plus stretchable so yeah it has an elastic on it and i'm not sure i didn't open it up so i'm not sure um no you can't open it up or fit it up so it just has an elastic on it so make sure if it's not your size then it's not point should fit next thing that i picked is this now this is a glow highlighter which i found over there i am very particular when it comes to highlighters because as you all know i have asian skin i have a uh, dark skin my skin is not very like a glowy it doesn't glow on its own so i need to make my skin glow when i need it to glow so this is something i found for 6 pounds in a um, Primark and they have like really good highlighters in there. You can see that 
they have like really really good shades of highlighter which can suit any skin not only uh, fair skin or dark skin or mid skin but all the skin types should go well with this one so it was like a good deal if you are trying if you are not uh something someone new wants to give a try so yeah this is a good palette it's for 6 pound and you get like how many sheets six sheets in the next thing that i picked is this this is ps prep and perfect so this is a primer water and it says prep skin for makeup application hydrating and calm with caffeine so this one is basically gross So this one is basically rose water and it is just 2 pound because it is a rose water if but uh this is primer water so I thought like giving a try why not next things that I like is not much I pick like random beauty products this time I've gone like really crazy with beauty products I don't know what happened but yeah not much clothes and stuff so I, that's the reason I didn't want you to do a wear on trial but yeah not this one this one I picked from some other store but I'm going to show you that one also so this is a bronze glow which i picked just for a pound so yeah like i said if you are planning to try learn and get to that level that yeah don't invest in very um, high products up to you if you want you can definitely go but i don't think it's worth for me to invest in something really high and learn then uh, to invest in something a uh, risky so yeah for trying reasonable products are always good make sure if you are trying reasonable products you um, you wear like really good amount of moisturizer on your skin you make your skin secure so that the product that you apply on your face doesn't get like into your skin the it gets into your skin but make sure you have good amount of moisturizer on so that the extra things that you put up on your face are being covered up or has a gap between the moisturizer your skin and the makeup so something in between yeah so the next thing that i picked is this blusher and this is again for a pound it's a beautiful color let me quickly show you off you show so this is how it looks i'm not sure if it is giving you the exact color it is it show looks like um light pink but is it, it is not light light pink it is like a um, rose rose shade rose pink So yeah, it is basically a rose pink, and then I got a foundation which is perfect finish, and this is in light beige. Now I'm not very sure uh, about the uh, shades because uh, due to COVID, they are not letting you um, try on uh, the product or test the product. Uh, so I didn't think that it would be uh, great to buy something uh, that is in this level then have it wasted. So yeah. This was the first bag that I picked up from Primark and a uh, 99p shop and it was like a huge stuff that I picked from one bag so yeah let's move on to the next one so I went to the shoe zone which you can see already in my vlog and I picked this okay this is fun lit yeah sorry my bad so yeah I picked the shoes up and these are like simplest easiest shoes that i picked no heels good grip and cheap as well so the so this in this i picked two pairs of uh, shoes the first one that i picked is um uh, in size 5 yeah and uh, it is for 7. Point, uh, something something 7.99 7.59 something 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 like that it was for a pair and then if you buy two pairs of this this type or uh, something within this range then you get it for 10 pounds so and these are my like favorite shoes if it really well i feel very comfortable in them so i always end up buying same pattern and same type of shoes so yeah so this is something that i have bought and not just one pair but i picked up two pairs so that was a good deal that was for a 10 pounds so yeah 2 pounds each oh sorry 5 pounds each so yeah 10 pounds so this is something that i picked in my shoes from shoe zone and then i picked a few more stuff 
from a uh, revolution that is a uh, super drug i happened to go to super drug uh, though i didn't show you all in the uh, uh in the vlog then i went to super drug because the moment i see beauty stores i go crazy and i forget that i need to shoot i'm not so good with shooting outdoors though you all have seen i've done most of indoor stuff so yeah i went crazy and i forgot to shoot but uh, i'm not going to forget what all things i picked up i'm going to show you so this is a um, eye shadow palette that i picked from revolution amazing full of glitters let me open it up for you quickly beautiful colors looks nice and for mostly for festive season festive season occasions weddings mm night parties this goes if you all go to yeah let me quickly show you these other shades and the glitter so yeah i somehow like the shades and i said i need to uh, progress in my field and i need to grow up so i need to do day and night makeups and i need to learn how they look on me and how i feel with them so yeah this time i've tried like literally different different stuff so yeah this is one thing that i picked this one I'm not sure how much I paid. I think so. I paid about eight pounds or fourteen pounds, something like that, but not more than fourteen pounds. Definitely not. So the next thing that I picked, I don't know this time. I gone um, all about glitters. One for glitter, glitter, glitter. Now this one is a cream, um, cream palette, and uh, it's glitter. So now this one is good for like you know Christmas and stuff like that, New Year parties, um, night parties during the time of um, Valentine's, which I'm a little doubtful that whether we are gonna have it this year or no. But nevertheless, we'll definitely have it in future. Let's think positive and move on. So yeah, that is the next thing that I bought. The next thing that I picked up is this. Now this is a uh, Maybelline uh, concealer. Uh, I have used this one before. A beautiful concealer, uh, instant anti-aging eraser, multi-use concealer, and this is in zero seven cent um, shade. So yeah, this is how it looks. Gives you full coverage, beautiful coverage, and very easy to apply. Works perfectly. Yeah, I picked this brush up as well. This is from Super Drug. This is the last thing that I think I picked up from Super Drug. So yeah. This it's a nice a bronzing brush and this is a thick brush you can see it's nice thick small personal use yeah perfect so oh, i picked one more brush from super drag and it's a eyeliner not eyeliner sorry eyeshadow brush so yeah it's a nice thin brush eyeshadow brush and looks good so hopefully it is good enough i think it was an offer so let's move on to boots i'm really sorry the video is going to be really lengthy because i picked up so many stuff okay so from boots i picked up this l'oreal paris a uh, shake and glow spray and best thing that i can tell you about this is this is a fixing spray so once you're done with your uh, makeup everything you're done and um, when you go out and you need to fix your stuff up you need to apply this uh, especially if you live in india like how um, you know the weather is really hot you go up you sweat and half of the makeup is either on your tissue or on your hands or on your clothes so yeah if you don't want that thing to happen just spray this up it will keep your face refreshed nice fresh and the makeup will not fall off so yeah these are the new things that we are learning up because i believe when i did my course like where were all these things i don't know I don't know. Was I that old that when I did the course, all these things didn't exist, or maybe these things were like really expensive that when I did the course they didn't show up, or these things really did exist. So yeah. So as I'm going through, as I'm learning up, as I'm trying up, so these are the things that I'm looking up, I'm trying up, and I'm giving a try. So I'm hoping that this one would be really nice. And this is a setting spray, like I have said. After your makeup, you need to just new piece and get out. So okay, so the next thing that I picked up is this. Now this is a Maybelline. Maybelline is a beautiful product. I do use foundations from Maybelline, so I know Maybelline works really well. I do use a coverage um, concealer from Maybelline, so Maybelline works really well on my skin. 
at least on my skin i'm not gonna assure for your skin because every skin is different so maybelline works beautiful on my skin so this is a setting powder now i will tell you why 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 you need a setting powder okay so if you are someone who likes to use a lot of foundation a lot of concealer and if you want to go out and then if you are going for a function if you are going for a party and then people see you and like ah oh, hello how are you and they come up and kiss which happens like it's just very very common in goa i would not uh, give example of any other place but my place in goa if there is a birthday they will come and they will kiss you if there is a feast they will come up and kiss you and this is like a tradition and we love it we love it we just love that thing i don't know how things are getting now because i haven't been there since a long time and i'm planning to go in future definitely but for now so this is something that is a tradition and the moment any guy comes and kiss you the entire face goes you know white you get you can see the literally that patch on a boy's face do girls do want to talk about it and i don't know boys notice that or no but yeah they are happy that you have been kissed they are getting to be kissed by a girl and they can kiss a girl and girls are happy that uh, the boys don't notice their makeup is on that boy's face so <laughs> this is a joke so this one works perfect when this situations happen okay so if you put this loose powder no matter how much he kisses you your makeup is not going to go off because the makeup is been stuck by this loose powder that's why you will see in older generations lot of people getting powders on their faces that helps your face from getting sweaty that helps from your face getting wrinkled up and i'm not going to explain more if you all want me to explain this in details i will put up one one thing and explain in details because i talk a lot and the vlog goes really long so i don't want to make the vlog long let me finish it up here basically i'm sure if you all are go once you all have understood what i'm trying to say okay so the next thing that i picked up is this but now i have picked up a eyebrow pencil and this is in dark brown shade I have picked up in dark brown shade. Now, what an eyebrow pencil does? This is basically for this eyebrows. If touch wood, God's grace, I have amazing eyebrows. I don't have like very light eyebrows. I have good amount of eyebrows. They are good amount. You can see them. They are visible. But some people are not that blessed. They have very thin, very light eyebrows where they need to use a pencil, a brow to. shaden up the eyebrows but if i do a uh, heavy makeup then my eyebrows look a little light so just to darken them up i use this one so this is not like an everyday use once in a blue moon so yeah this is something that i use for heavy makeup only while doing heavy makeup so now this is another mm, full eye under eye coverage so let me quickly show you again this is an maybelline product As I have said, Maybelline products work really good on me. So this is an under eye full coverage area. I don't have dark spots. If you can see, I will like really show you close up. I don't have that much of um, dark circles under my eye. But this area of mine is the trouble area. I have like more pigmentation on this area. This is like really dark. So I really need to work to cover this area up rather than covering my. under eyes yeah so i'm blessed in that case but i'm not blessed on this case so this is something that i use to cover up my under eye to make the tone look similar though my makeup is not too good today don't judge me still i'm working on it i'm working on it you can never be perfect overnight if you do mistakes learn to accept those mistakes because when you do mistakes you learn from that mistakes and you move on enough for today I don't want to give too many lectures, okay? So now this is a mascara which is for um, thickening up your lashes. If you don't wear uh, artificial lashes or you don't wear artificial uh, eyelashes, you don't like to wear them. They look weird on you. Whatever the reason is, nothing looks weird. Once you start using them, once you get used to them, then it you get used to them. First time when you try something, it always looks better. So yeah, this is like a mega mascara. What do you get? Mega. mega mascara so it basically thickens your eyebrows i'm blessed with good eye lashes i don't need like eyelashes eyelashes until and unless i'm like doing a really a uh, indian traditional heavy look or a bridal look that is when you need to put all these things but other than that for simple looks i don't like to over put all this makeup stuff but yeah it is always good to learn so yeah i have 
bought this one i can try this one and i can get an artificial eyelash and i tried that one as well so this is an eyeliner which i picked up from boots that's why i didn't show you all while i was showing the other stuff so this is um a uh, very very thin eyeliner i'm not very good with eyeliners i do apply but since i've not been putting up eyeliners for a very long time those line goes up down up down i'm not ashamed to tell that i'm learning i'm learning and you're never too old when you want to learn something so this is very very thin one so as you can see how thin it is okay so this is this thin so i'm sure if i'm learning then i can really make a good line out of this one yeah there were like few friends used to teach me and my hands used to always like shake up but then i learned and now i have not used it for like years so i'm still not sure how i'm going to work up on this one but definitely i'm going to work up so guys um this is it for today like i have um picked so many stuff randomly which i don't even pick up when i go to primark these many stuffs but yeah most of the things are from primark most of the things are from boots and super trucks so this video has been really lengthy i do apologize and i do again apologize for not being regular last two weeks i haven't been there so i'm really sorry i do apologize i'm trying to be more um punctual with my timings and my vlogs so yeah please bear with me and please do support me if you have liked my video for today please do like share and subscribe to my channel and show all of your love also leave your comments if you all want to see my basic um, makeup routines where i'm going to show you all because i myself am learning so when i am learning i can teach you all along with things i'm going to only teach you all what i know i'm not going to teach you what i don't know so yeah if you all are interested let me know and my next vlog would be on trying all this stuff up yeah indian traditional western look so yeah if you're interested make sure y'all hit the bell icon so that y'all don't miss my next vlog and y'all check out my next vlog so won't make it too lengthy so this is it guys see y'all soon with my next vlog which is gonna be up next week so be there till then take care bye bye love y'all